All right, so what we're going to do is test with this airfoil design and see what happens. We have a wind coming from this direction, west of me. It's probably 5 to 10 miles an hour on the gusts. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. That's a good guy. So we're not, we're not going to push it. navigation waypoints, but 
but I don't have a computer out here, so the chances that it's actually I'm actually gonna be able to track it, and I doubt I'd get signal out here anyway. I set the waypoints to this area, seven different waypoints. It sounds like it's trying to do it. It's just not doing it. I may have run the battery down too much. Itself. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. You see the, you see the controller? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I knew that was going to happen. Okay. We're at battery voltage. It was battery voltage. That's, what it was. Oh, that's why these are, are empty. I pretty much could just put a PET spar down there as I printed it. So we'll do it again and make it a little bit stronger. I don't like the PETG because it doesn't, it's more brittle than anything else. So, but I designed these just to pop off anyway. So, knock that one off. But it was getting lift for sure. And I'll clean up the little bit of CA mess that I have on here. But we've pretty much ran it dead. <laughs> so, and I think that had a lot to do with the wind. Once you got up higher than the, uh, once you got up higher than the surrounding area, because we're kind of in a dip, that wind was a little bit harder on it. So, but you could tell it was hitting the airfoils and making a difference. So we're, we're making progress and that's the whole point. So. Until next time, I have to go dust this off now and uh, print some more wings. So, thanks for watching.